Now, this is more or less a request from someone that I know on Twitter. Basically, he suggests that I make a video about Mad Max and how there is a so-called boycott of the Mad Max franchise. Now, I've never even seen the movie itself, but judging from the rating system, it must be really good. However, there is one complaint, and that is Mad Max is not the main hero of the story, but more or less a spectator. And that kind of irks me, because Mad Max was always the main character in his own movies. But then again, I suppose that is not that uncommon. In the second Metal Gear game, you play as Raiden and not as Solid Snake. So I guess I can't really complain too much. Plus, I never even heard of Mad Max, so really I can only judge this film as an outsider's perspective and not as a fan. Those people are like Anita Sarkeesian that think they can do that, but in reality they are just hipsters with daddy issues. Now I'm fully aware that Sargon of Akkad and many other YouTubers have made videos about Mad Max and about the feminists saying that MRAs are so anti-woman that they are willing to boycott a movie because it is infused with feminism. My reaction is, maybe, just maybe there are a few MRAs that are willing to do that. But this article doesn't really speak out for all MRAs. And even if it did, what does the producer have to lose? Money? Well, you got plenty of that. What about popularity of Mad Max? The movie did so well, it might even have a sequel. So in reality, regardless if all the MRAs boycotted Mad Max, the movie still did well. But we all know that the MRAs are not anti-women. There are women in the MRAs. Of course, the feminists would see them as traitors to their own fucking gender. But consider this. Why would a simple article like this would get so much attention? Well, it's simple, really. They need something to go crazy about. They won't do any research and basically just judge things basically by the cover. They are like sharks. They smell blood in the water and they will attack. But of course, any feminist that pretty much openly states that she hates men, well then, it's nothing. It's almost as if it's totally okay to hate men regardless of the reason, because any reason is justified. If they want to boycott something, it doesn't matter the reason, they will do it. If they will find a movie that is filled with MRA propaganda, then they will boycott it, no doubt. They will even go as far as to create a petition to remove the video at once. They try to do that with Fifty Shades of Grey. Let's be honest with ourselves, they go nuts over anything that somehow empowers men. Like Father's Day. If anything that sexualizes women in any way possible, they will go fucking nuts. These fucking hipster wannabes just want to roll their eyes and just say, Man, damsel in distress is such an overused stereotype of women. This movie sucks now. They're using the MRAs as nothing more than scapegoats in order to push their crazy ideas and inflate their own fucking egos. I will link Sargon's video because there are already things that he has said that I wanted to say. As for the movie itself, Mad Max, it's not a feminist film. Yes, I agree with Anita, but for different reasons. The reason being is that there is plenty of movies and shows that empower women. Especially in anime, where there are girls there are far more than just cardboard cutouts of women. Honestly, I want to see this movie. If, on the other hand, this movie was nothing more than just trying to force feminism down people's throats, then there's a good reason to boycott. And I might even review that movie. But I'm certainly not buying that movie. I might just pirate the movie so that way I don't have to pay jack shit. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.